In recent years, the concept of cold exposure for weight loss has gained significant popularity, and for good reason. Cold exposure, also known as cryotherapy or cold thermogenesis, is the practice of exposing oneself to low temperatures in order to stimulate the body's metabolic response. This technique has been utilized by athletes, biohackers, and individuals looking to improve their health or shed some pounds. But what does the science say about cold exposure for weight loss? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating studies that have been conducted on this subject and discuss the potential benefits and drawbacks of incorporating cold exposure into your daily routine, so watch till the end to find out. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Research Studies one of the first studies to explore the relationship between cold exposure and weight loss was conducted by researchers at the University of Maastricht in the Netherlands. In this study, published in the journal Trends in Endocrinology and Metabolism, the scientists found that exposure to cold temperatures could increase the body's energy expenditure by as much as 30%. This increase in energy expenditure is due to the activation of brown adipose tissue, BAT, a type of fat that is responsible for generating heat in the body. When the body is exposed to cold temperatures, it must work harder to maintain its core temperature, and this increased effort results in the burning of more calories. Another study, published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation, found that cold exposure led to significant changes in the body's composition. In this study, participants who were exposed to cold temperatures for two hours per day over a six-week period experienced a significant increase in BAT activity and a reduction in body fat. The researchers attributed these changes to the activation of BAT, which they believe helps the body burn more calories and ultimately lose weight. A similar study conducted at the University of Turku in Finland also found that cold exposure could help with weight loss by boosting the activity of BAT. In this study, participants who were exposed to cold temperatures for three hours per day for three months experienced a significant increase in BAT activity and a reduction in body fat. The researchers concluded that regular cold exposure could be a useful strategy for managing obesity and improving overall health. In addition to the studies mentioned earlier, there have been numerous other studies that have demonstrated the potential benefits of cold exposure for weight loss. For example, a study published in the journal Cell Metabolism found that exposure to cold temperatures can increase the body's production of irisin, a hormone that has been linked to the conversion of white fat into brown fat. This conversion, known as browning, is thought to be an important factor in weight loss, as brown fat is more metabolically active than white fat. Another study, published in the journal PLOS One, found that participants who slept in a cool room, 66 degree F, 19 degree C, for one month experienced a significant increase in BAT activity and a reduction in body fat compared to those who slept in a warmer room, 75 degree F, 24 degree C. The researchers concluded that sleeping in a cool environment could be a simple and effective way to boost BAT activity and promote weight loss. It's important to note that while these studies demonstrate the potential benefits of cold exposure for weight loss, there are also potential drawbacks to consider. Some individuals may find cold exposure uncomfortable or even painful, particularly if they suffer from conditions like Raynaud's disease or cold urticaria. Additionally, exposure to extremely cold temperatures can be dangerous particularly if done without proper precautions or guidance. If you're considering incorporating cold exposure into your daily routine, it's important to start slowly and consult with a healthcare professional to ensure that you're doing so safely and effectively. With that said, there are several ways to safely incorporate cold exposure into your daily routine. One popular method is to take cold showers, which can help to activate BAT and boost the body's metabolic rate. To get started, Try gradually lowering the temperature of your shower each day until you're able to tolerate the cold water comfortably. You can also try finishing your regular shower with a blast of cold water for 30 seconds to one minute. Another option is to use ice packs, which can be applied to areas with a high concentration of brown fat, such as the upper back and shoulders. Applying ice packs for 20, 30 minutes per day can help to stimulate bad activity and potentially promote weight loss. However, be sure to wrap the ice pack in a cloth or towel to avoid direct contact with the skin and prevent frostbite. 
Cold exposure can also be achieved by spending time in colder environments, such as taking walks outdoors during the winter or swimming in cold water. If you choose to exercise outdoors in cold weather, make sure to dress appropriately, wearing layers to stay warm and protect yourself from the elements. One more option to consider is the use of cryotherapy chambers, which are designed to expose the body to extremely cold temperatures for short periods of time. While cryotherapy sessions can be expensive, some individuals may find them to be a convenient and effective way to incorporate cold exposure into their routine. Keep in mind that cryotherapy should only be done under the supervision of a trained professional and may not be suitable for everyone, particularly those with certain health conditions. Amazing Health Benefits of Ice One of the best properties of ice is anti-inflammatory, which helps reduces and heal acne. It calms and soothes inflamed skin and minimizes the size of your pores. It also reduces the excess sebum production that is the main culprit behind acne. Be it muscle cramps or pain due to an injection shot, applying ice packs on the site reduces pain and discomfort. It helps in countering pain by soothing inflammation and improving blood circulation in the area. Are you suffering from sunburn? If yes, apply a few ice cubes as it not only soothes the affected area, but also hydrates your skin. This is because ice contains water that when applied to the skin, eases pain and inflammation. Dark circles as well as puffiness of eyes can be effectively treated with the help of ice. It constricts the blood vessels, keeps your skin intact, and reduces darkness. It also combats the dullness of the skin by moisturizing your skin. We all want glowing and radiant skin. For that, we use numerous expensive products, but we hardly get the best results. The application of ice on the face improves blood circulation to your skin and makes it bright. It also improves oxygen levels in the skin and supplies essential nutrients and vitamins. Additionally, rubbing an ice cube on the face also helps increase the absorption of your skincare products due to the restriction of capillaries. In conclusion, the science behind cold exposure for weight loss is both fascinating and promising. Numerous studies have demonstrated the potential benefits of regular cold exposure, such as increased BAT activity, higher energy expenditure, and reductions in body fat. However, it's important to approach cold exposure with caution and consult a healthcare professional before making any significant changes to your routine. If you're interested in trying cold exposure for weight loss, start by experimenting with cold showers, ice packs, or spending time in colder environments. Remember to listen to your body and make adjustments as needed, and always prioritize safety and comfort. While cold exposure may not be a magic bullet for weight loss, it could be a valuable addition to a well-rounded approach to health and wellness, helping you achieve your weight loss goals more efficiently and effectively. So go ahead and give cold exposure a try. You might be surprised by the results.